Guys, this clearly wasn't supposed to happen. I don't think it was the game developer's intention to make the Megalocraptus be able to fly above water unless he's half bird, which I kind of really doubt. What's up guys, my name is Sir Buckhead and welcome back to Feed and Grow Fish. Now recently I've been suggested to check out the Megalocraptus in the crab event. Right now we're checking out, I don't even know what crab this is, call it the tiny big hand crab. Yeah, one of its hands are bigger than the other. I don't really know if that's a deform or not, but he's going to be a proud little crab and get about 15 coins for us. We need about 15 coins to get the Megalocraptus, which has a very interesting ability. Some sort of a poison ability might be able to take down the Megalodon. Hopefully he's strong enough, or hopefully we have the skill. And just like that, we have 27 coins. Let's check out the Megalocraptus ability. It's pretty cheap, 15 coins active. Sting injects venom into a caught prey. After a five second delay, the prey is paralyzed for 10 seconds and takes damage equal to 10 times bite. Okay, that was a whole lot of something. Didn't really know what it means, but venom paralyzes, does a whole bunch of damage. I, I could do that. Oh, we look super gross right now. Oh, oh no, I think we're spawned near the tiger shark. And the Megalodon, Tiger Shark, hey Tiger Shark, you didn't see me, you, oh, guys, I thought the other crab was on steroids, but holy crap, are we ever on steroids. Now, I just took a look and checked who's above me, who's above me, oh, oh, that's the Megalodon, use your steroids and get out of here, man, okay, okay, I think we're safe, we're pretty fast, we're insanely fast, but I just checked out and saw if we had Ragdoll turned on, because Ragdoll, one of my favorite features in this game. Gives you seizures and stuff, gives other people seizures, really fun. Don't really know if it's gonna be turned on for multiplayer or not, because you can have other real life people seize out. Hey buddy, you gonna fart on me? No, I don't think so. What does fart exactly do to me? I don't, I don't feel like it does anything to me. Cuttlefish, you're pretty useless in all reality, unless people don't like farting. I swear, oh, let's use our active ability. So he's paralyzed, I used it. It doesn't seem like he's moving. Are you moving, sir? I, I'm kind of seeing the inside of my face. Yeah, we could really swim with this guy. He's really mobile, which I really like. I like fast paced stuff. It's my kind of thing. Do you need another sting? We're just gonna flip our butt on you. Yeah, when he's paralyzed, he has a little rainbow thing. I think we just seized out for a second, but yeah. He's, he's taking damage from our Stingray thing, and we're already level three. Oh, where do you think you're going? I'm just too fast for my own well-being. Oh crap, maybe a little too fast. We're like the Superman of the ocean. We could take down anything. We could really wish I had laser eyes. I mean, I know there's modding in this game, but what extent, to what extent can the modding go? I mean. Could people mod in laser fish eyes? Maybe Batman for a fish? I don't know. That would be really cool. I have to research. Now my goal for this episode, and I don't know if it's going to be a good goal or not, I'm gonna really try not to die. But my big goal is to become not a Megalodon, not become a Megalodon, to kill a Megalodon, to devour a Megalodon, because we have the mobility. All we have to do, nice little spins, loop-de-loops, we got this. We so got this. Who's there? I saw shadows. Shadows really paranoid me in this game. Ooh, we have a whole bunch of little fish over here. Hey, little fish. Yeah, just give me a whole bunch of XP. Holy crap, 120 XP? They don't usually give that much XP. But I guess since I'm a Megalocraptus, Craptus? I'm pretty sure it's Craptus, Crabcaptus. Megalograptus, Graptus, I'm just gonna call it Craptus. That doesn't even matter right now, but we're level 12 already. We look like a pretty good, decent size. But you see, as we get bigger, it's either because I'm getting used to it or because we're getting bigger. As we get bigger, it seems like we slow down a lot. Yeah, that's usually how nature goes, right? The bigger you are, the more slower you are. Uh, guys? Can the Megalocraptus fly 
in real life. I don't think that's what's supposed to happen, but if it... I'll take it. We're Superman, baby. Look how far high we went up. Wait a second. You think I could fly my way over to space or something? Guys, this clearly wasn't supposed to happen. I don't think it was the game developer's intention to make the Megalocraptus be able to fly above water unless he's half bird, which I kind of really doubt. Yeah, we could sort of see the edge of the map. We're gonna keep on flying. Oh, oh, I think we went a little too high. Ooh, we're a little fish. Little fish, they give me a whole bunch of XP. Yeah, we're just gonna farm these guys. We'll get our XP back in no time. In no time, as long as the Bebos don't buy my butt. Why is this guy having a seizure now? This game, I can't really explain sometimes. Yeah, so let's just say this Megalocraptus might be a little too overpowered, gains way too much XP, could fly absolutely like Superman, has a poison ability, and might have the ability to ragdoll people like crazy. Can't really tell yet, really excited to test it out. Hmm, should we take down that crocodile shark? I'm a little scared to, but in all reality, I could gain my XP pretty quickly. So we're just gonna sting you, sting you, sting you, sting you, bite you in the butt, bite you in the butt. We're not doing a lot of damage. Not gonna lie, but he is having a seizure, and I think it's working. Can fly like Superman? Check. Could get tons of XP? Check. Could swim super fast and give people seizures? All check. Yep, definitely one of the best sea creatures in the entire game. This is super weird. We're just stinging his nipples right now. Yeah, keep on stinging, keep on stinging. Can't forget about my ability. I don't feel like we're doing a whole lot of damage, but then again, I think we're doing a whole lot of damage. Guys, I think he's at the point to where he's becoming the geometry of the game. You see that snake? He was kind of glitching off as well. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. How much health does this guy have? Probably 6,000, maybe 4,000? Don't really know, but something tells me so far, we've been doing 14 damage per tick. Yeah, this is definitely going to take a while. Sometimes this guy has random bursts of seizures. His neck goes right inside of himself. He starts flapping his arms like crazy. I absolutely love it. Yep, here it goes again. Oh no, you better not glitch me out. We're going a little too close to his mouth, which I kind of don't like. Okay. So it seems like he kind of bit all of my chest off. We weren't really doing that much damage to him, but he's kind of having a hard time getting our body off of him. Yeah, but it was working. All we have to do is just farm out all the little fish, get a whole bunch of damage, and this is a patience game. All we need to do is just keep on feeding and growing. And once we do, it's Megla time. I just said Megla time. I meant Megalodon time. <laughs> I swear, are you still having seizures, dude? Oh, I absolutely love it when he flaps his little tiny arms. Makes him look so less menacing. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, guys, we're back, and we're at the point where, like, we're at level 63. We're really big. We could take down great white sharks, but we're still fast enough to somehow pull off a Superman and fly above the water. Is that a painted cloud? That looks really nice. I love the art style of paint. That's a little weird. Okay, first things first, who do we want to take down? We took down the Great White Shark in grinding. We could take down basically everyone else. Don't really know if we could take down the Crocodile Shark or the Megalodon yet. And I don't really feel like grinding again. So we're gonna try the Crocodile Shark. And if I die, I'm gonna have to grind again. There's no way to that. Aim for the butt. We always approach people from the butt or fish from the butt. 400 damage. You guys saw that, right? Yeah, he's already having a seizure. That means he's already dead. And if he's already dead, that means we're unstoppable, guys. Holy crap. Could you just die already? Yeah, thank you. Please don't spawn kill me. If you spawn kill me, I would be so sad. Am I... That fat that I can't even swim up anymore? Wait, am I that fat that... Can I not be able to fly anymore? That would be sad. No, please fly. Please fly. That's my best ability. Yeah. 
somehow we could still something tells me even if we get bigger than this map entirely we'll still be able to fly it's getting to the point where i think this crab probably way more overpowered than the megalodon definitely more overpowered than the megalodon you can level him up so quickly he just gains so much xp and that's what makes him overpowered and also the flying ability and also the speed and also the damage and also the poison yeah combine all of those oh so strong i have to be honest though the bigger you get it's apparent that you're getting slower still have no idea how we can fly but we're getting slower okay now's the moment of truth can we take down the megalodon with the megalocraptus this i'm afraid about because if we die like i said I'm gonna have to do another grinding. We got this. Got this. He's taking down another opponent. Approach from the butt. Like I said, guys, my advice in life always approach people from the butt. Okay, okay. Sting, sting. Oh, no, 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 no. You better not kill me. You better not kill me. Please, please. Yes, yes. Our paralyze. Our par paralysis, whatever you want to call it, is so good. You could save yourself from dying so many times okay we took down the megalodon that's all i wanted to know he's probably going to spawn kill me okay okay we're safe there's nothing to worry about we're basically the king of the great map nothing could take us down i mean the megalodon if he's sneaky he could be a sneaky little one sometimes but we're unstoppable we could take down every single thing on the great map this guy is absolutely crazy i am dumbfounded how some little crab don't really know what species he is probably a crab could take down the megalodon now we're almost level 100 we're as big as the megalodon basically do you think you would ever see this in real life i don't think so i mean i have no mods installed guys yet i could still fly in this game I have no idea why but it's an awesome way for transportation. Hey guys, what are you doing? Just fighting above the ocean waters. Oh, are you stuck? Yes, I'm your mom. Come, let me feed you. Or you could feed me. Ooh, that's really cool. They're above the water. They can't get hurt. Or at least they don't think they could get hurt. Imagine. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, is this where you spawn? I think I just found the best exploit in the game. Imagine being on a beach and then suddenly seeing a huge crab like me. Okay, I think the exploit is over. <laughs> yeah, they moved on to the other island. Hey guys, you probably didn't know that I could fly. Okay, I had enough of that. Time to go back in the great map like a real man. The thing is, what do we want to do now? There's basically nothing we can do. The second I reach this point in the video, I kind of run out of ideas because what else could beat us we're basically unstoppable this is the feeling i got when i beat the megalodon or became the megalodon this is the feeling that i got when i became the crocodile shark watch this this is absolutely insane tuna goodbye tuna that feeling of just sucking up everyone and them spawning we're basically spawn killing them right now it feels so glorious yeah sometimes they get so sick of me spawn killing them they spawn in different areas it won't help them hey crocodile shark how you doing we're just gonna sting you we're as big as him that's absolutely insane why is it always the crocodile shark that seizes out you know sometimes i could be an absolute idiot i wanted <laughs> i wanted the thumbnail to be a megalocraft is floating in the sky but then i realized something the second you're in the air, you turn into meat. I don't know how many of you guys want this to be the thumbnail. So, something tells me you're going to stay above water for a while. Ooh, that's perfect. I might still be able to get that thumbnail. We could still fly above the water. We could still possibly find the meat. Okay, we are on a quest to make the best thumbnail ever probably not gonna do it above water okay where's the meat Ooh, guys i think i laid eyes upon the most beautiful precious thing in the world too bad we can't swallow this hole but we can devour it somehow we're like a bird in the sky i can't even bite this oh i'm biting it now and the second i start biting it it's gonna float down 
Okay, okay, stay steady, steady, steady. Can we poison this? Don't think so. You can't really poison a dead fish. That's probably not how it works. Oh, baby, once you suck one, you kind of start to suck all of them. Yeah, I just gained all my levels back. Not really all of them, but that's good enough. I think we accomplished our mission. Yeah, give me a little wink, dude. You were the best. Now, something tells me we should probably not try to spectate above water. Yeah, we're just gonna submerge ourselves back underwater. But I think that's gonna be enough of Feed and Grow Fish for today, guys, and I really enjoyed this episode. Megalocraft is probably one of the best sea creatures in the game. Their poison attack really good, they could paralyze people, they could do a whole lot of damage, and of course, they could give out seizures like normal and fly in the sky, which is really fun. So if you guys want to see more of this game, let me know because I really want to explore more. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>